All right, so I believe this makes us private now. Give us enough space as requested. Mm, looks like there's something you wanted to say. <laughs> what is it? I gave you quiet. Azura, my bummel, she's faking it. She's still under Umbra's influence. Hmm. I guess I could be so sure. Uh oh. Hmm. I mean, technically can't be sure, but if you beat her to within an inch of her life, then I can give her the usual treatment. It's the only way. See. <sighs> I'm not gonna beat her on a mere suspicion. Arrange it. Tell her to to find Maroon's toothpick. Tell her what of the graybeards has he. Oh my lord. In his beard. <laughs> Jesus Always Christ. Always tell her to walk up to a James Cup in the middle of the day, pick up the largest bowl of Mama's cheese she can find, and. Look, I'm just gonna talk to her. Task me on this. She's a poison bloom, pretty on the outside, but carries death within. Oh no, ladies instinctive and never wrong when it comes to young girls like her. Hmm. I don't. Let, Let me see. Have some fun while we are here. I don't know. I mean, I, I have that suspicion too, to be honest with you. Like, she's not the only one. I don't even know where she went, to be honest. I told her to wait here, but clearly, she has a mind of her own, damn it. Um. Hmm. Not even gonna lie to you. I don't know where she could have gone. Okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate because I don't exactly know where she would have went. I don't know if she went inside the house or if she's just out here waiting. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You could disenchant some equipment. Uh, matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that now. Give me one second. All right. Look, I need to ask you a few questions. Of course. Anything at all. I'm an open book. All right. It's the least I can do after the great mercy you've shown me. Right. Well, does Umbra know of our plan to enter this uh, Umbrella soul? Through okay. Does Umbra know you've broken free of her influence? She does not. She doesn't. I think. What is your plan? Uh, let's just say some sacrifices need to be made. I see. From the five of us, I assume. That is correct. And Nainra told you we must die in the process. Hmm. How do you know that? It is best if we speak in private of these matters. You wish, Cupcake. Oh, not as good an actress as you think. Actress? Are you, of all people, really accusing me? Or anyone, for that matter, of being manipulative? Don't try to turn this on me, you toasted like I can see through you. I can see you wish me dead, for sure. And apparently the rest of our companions, too. I do not deny we did heinous things. But is that really why you're after us? Why? All five of us volunteered to help our friend out of the goodwill in our hearts, Neymar. We took the cursed gems from the very hands of someone we truly trusted. I noticed your entrance at Arkwing Point was quite dramatic. But a few minutes too late, don't you think? Why is that? This is Unra speaking through the elf. Take her down. I don't... Hmm. No. If only you had teleported in just a few minutes before. Didn't your divination station show that the soul gems we were about to take from Nelikar were a trap? 
Surely it's not that you wanted us to get infected, so that you could sacrifice us later and gain access to Umbriel, right? No, never. Why, that would be quite manipulative of you. If the Umbriel could say all this, why do you hesitate? She's not wrong. <laughs> And we all know the last thing you are is manipulative. After all, it's not like our friend collected ten bodies for Daumbra only for you to take them instead. It's not like you gave our friend a certain godflesh once that you knew would kill Daumbra and bring Umbra back. It's not like you didn't warn him. But hey. Anything to score against Clavicus, right? I... I... sacrificed myself for the do. You don't know what I feel or have been through. You don't know why I do the things I do. You wouldn't understand. No one does. Hmm. Will I understand why you do the things you do? I didn't know it was happening an awkward point until after it had already happened. It was a flash of energy flowing from the cell care and all of a sudden what alerted me. I, I saved you. Listen, please. I care for you and Elbra. I really do, even if it's hard to say it, sometimes it's just hard to say. This woman, she lied to you when she said Azura purged up her out of her. That never happened, trust me on this. She is not different from the others. Hmm. I am different. And I can prove it. I can travel with you and prove my worth. Unlike you, Nymla, I can move on past my grievances and focus on the greater good. I can focus on stopping Umbra. I'll even work with you, if you let me. I already know you are merciful, but now you can show you are also just. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. God, that's tough. That's tough. Hmm. Oh, God, that's a tough one. Thank you. We'll put this unpleasant conversation behind us. You truly are Azura's chosen. And together we'll put a stop to Umbra. Oh, no. Very well. Hmm. Of course. I, d I don't know. I, I truly, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, I truly don't know. Um. It's a tough one. Um. I mean, she's not showing any signs of like betrayal or anything. I mean, it, it definitely could be a trap. A hundred percent. It could a hundred percent be a trap that she's trying to like infiltrate us from within um I don't want Morrow's amulet actually um we could do next to the firewalker um let's see I don't know that it's definitely a tough one I I I I truly don't know um I mean, she's bringing up some interesting points. Shoot. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. All right then. I. Uh, I guess we'll wait till dawn and we'll start our attack. All right. So let's do an alternate universe here. Basically, um, we're gonna ask her, and see what's up. I have some questions. Of course, anything at all. 
I'm an open book. It's the least I can do after the great mercy you've shown me. Hmm, because it is a little suspicious that she's the only one that seems to have been cleansed from, like, from, like, a Daedric, like, prince or, like, when the divines actually saved it because we actually ran into someone that actually was blessed by the divines with the armor and it wasn't clenched from umbra she does not she doesn't i think what is your plan mm, more sacrifices need to be made i see from the five of us i assume maybe and nainra told you we must die in the process how do you know that? It is best if we speak in private of these matters. You wish, Cupcake. You're not as good an actress as you think. Actress, are you, of all people, really accusing me, or anyone for that matter, of being manipulative? I can see you wish me dead for sure, and apparently the rest of our companions too. I do not deny we did heinous things, but is that really why you're after us? Why? All five of us. Sorry, there's a spider over there that needs to volunteer. die. Help our friend us to in our hearts. We took the cut of gems from the very hands of someone we truly trusted. I noticed your entrance at Arkwing Point was quite dramatic, but a few minutes too late, don't you think? Why is that? This is Unra speaking through the elf. Take her down. I mean, she's, again, she's bringing up good points. I kind of want to listen to the conversation with <laughs> this. This is if only you had teleported the in just a few minutes before. Didn't your divination station show that the soul gems we were about to take from Nelikar were a trap? Surely it's not that you... ...wanted us to get infected, so that you could sacrifice us later and gain access to Umbriel, right? No, never. Why, that would be quite manipulative of you. If the Umbra could say all this, why do you hesitate? No, <laughs> I want to listen. And we all know the last thing you are is manipulative. After all, it's not like our friend collected ten bodies for Daumbra only for you to take them instead. It's not like you gave our friend a certain godflesh once that you knew would kill Dambra and bring Umbra back. It's not like you didn't warn him. But hey, anything to score against Clavicus, right? I... I... sacrificed myself for the two. Hmm. You don't know what I feel or have been through. You don't know why I do the things I do. You wouldn't understand. No one does. Hmm. Listen, please. I'm careful of you and Alfra. I really do, even if it's hard to say it. Sometimes it's just hard to say. This woman, she lied to you when she said Azura purged Umbra out of her? That never happened. Trust me on this. She is not different from the others. I mm. am different. And I can prove it. I can travel with you and prove my worth. Unlike you, Nymra, I can move on past my grievances and focus on the greater good. I can focus on stopping Umbra. I'll even work with you, if you let me. Mm. I already know you are merciful, but now you can sh I know it. And now we speak in power. I'm not sure, Steady. Remember, she betrayed you? We don't need her soul, though. <sighs> 
fine if it's the toy you want. I mean, we already have enough soul gems. We don't really need to take her life now. Because two was willing to get theirs taken away, and one was a pretty easy choice. All right, so that's the end of that. Are you okay? No. No. I am not. Umbra is no longer with me. But I will never be the same again. Oh. 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 I betrayed you. I lied. I lied again and again to the only person who cared enough about me to save me. I... I don't deserve mercy. Hmm. You can still redeem yourself. Truly. After everything I did, I swear on my ancestors. If Azura grants me long years, I swear I will spend them making up for all the evil I did. I don't even know really I, what you did. I can't thank you enough. Look, you weren't yourself. I want to believe you. I truly need to believe that is true. I will reach out to the families of the priestesses I killed. I will try to repay them somehow. Do what you feel is right. I... I will think long and hard of how. I... want to go home. Please don't let Umbra do this to anyone else. No one deserves this. Best of luck, my dear champion. And thank you for showing me mercy. Hmm. Even though I don't deserve it. Again. Alright, well, so I guess there's plenty of ways that's going to play out, right? I guess if you decide to, um, I guess if you decide to, like, take her along with you up to, the, like, parts of the final battle, she might betray you, and you have to kill her then, or she may use her, her knowledge to kind of, like, thwart our plans. Yes, I don't know. My it's beloved. definitely one of the tougher ones, because she definitely makes some good points about, um, about, about her to where it's like, oh, okay, well, maybe she is repenting, but. If that is all you need. I don't know. Um, in any case, we do have enough uh, special gems to reach uh, Umbriel. We have enough indeed, but are you ready? Uh, we done what we could. Good, let's get back to your water running. I'd bought you there, but you know what happened last time. All I right, will just take enough. the gems from you now. Okay. Alright, assault on Umbriel. Okay, looks like we're uh, we're ready to go. All right, so let's go back to the soul okay, conductor. Okay, let's go to the soul conductor upstairs. All right. So yeah, uh, definitely one of my favorite mod uh, quests that I've played through so far. There's definitely been a lot to it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite. That's definitely tough. Um, Tales of Marissi really did get to me though. I, I feel like that was one of uh, uh, that was a really good one as well. But we haven't finished this one quite yet, so maybe this one won't take the top spot. But that's that's for another conversation. Voice actor. What do you mean is it working? It's your thing. You let me know if it's working. I I hope it's working. Okay, Terry, now listen. You know I can't telephone you too far, but these chunks should work well enough, also. 
It would be easier if the prison has sold for all that you back. All right, take us to the door onwards. Uh, so we have to leave her body here. All right, well, let me... Let me save it here. Yes, my beloved. Hmm. If that is all you need. Here we are. Hmm. I mean, she should be finding that body, I'd imagine, right? Some of these platforms look really hard to reach. Um, Done. Thanks. God. Right. I'm done. I do like the mechanic though. Like I like the I like how the mechanic works. I guess I could just summon the Umbra on my back if need be. Here we are. Hmm. Again, cool in concept, but like some of these platforms are a little hard to kind of reach. Oh God. Oh, oh that's cool. Careful there, baby. You didn't worry. I have your back. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to load back up to where that was just because I don't want to do all that over again. Um, I know we can't die, so that's good to know, but again, in concept, this is cool. Um, in theory, some execution uh, leaves a lot to be desired in terms of like the platforms that are positioned. Um, like, let me see. I mean, I guess the game does, I guess it does a pretty good job of putting you on the platform if need be, but still, it is a little, uh, finicky. Like, I guess as long as I touch the platform, it takes me on there. Like, I, I guess that's how that works. As long as I, like, touch the platform, it, it'll know to put me on the platform. Here we go. You have to go all the way up there, though. Jesus. All right. Um, let me see. I'm actually going to save it here. Okay. Oh. Here we are. Hell, honestly, this would be a lot easier if we can fly. I guess I should have like uh, Umbra summoned to me, or the Umbra. I'm sorry, or Dumbra. I guess I, I'm not sure if it's like the AI or like the voice acting. I guess it's Dumbra, not necessarily the Umbra, but like the way it's like spelled out, it's the Umbra, but it's like Dumbra, I guess. A little, a little save here. Sorry if I'm like scum saving this, but. All right, let me dump a save here just in case. Um, I hope, I hope we don't get teleported out again. But we can use up to our advantage. I will guide you, make sure you don't get lost. Okay. Then we find, find Umbra and do what needs to be done. Oh uh, well, do what needs to be done. Okay. 
Name. Did I just... This is just my little cave. He leads to the city outside and from there. What the goes. hell? Where did I get teleported to? I am so confused. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Uh Okay. Hmm. I feel like this is actually broken and not supposed to happen. Let me check. Maybe? I have no idea. That, did I make it to Umbral? I don't know anymore. <laughs> cool. All right, I guess we I guess we bypassed all that somehow. I don't know. I, I honestly at this point I'm not going to question it. Uh confront uh block oh. Black Soul Gem. Oh god, this place is uh This place is insane. All right, talk to me. Welcome to Umbreal, old friend. Why are you here? Another encounter under the barrier. It seems you were meant to be a keeper. I told you, didn't I? I told you that Umbra made a promise to me. As I lay dying, she whispered in my mind and said, I would see her work completed still. And now here we are. Hmm. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Not this again. Just how arrogant do you have to be to constantly assume you know right from wrong better than the rest of us? That goes for your little sword friend there as well. The body thief. I won't be preached to by the likes of you. And the witch Nanra? It's not that you're blind to your schemes, but worse, you refuse to see them. Hmm. It's too late to die, for either one of us. But you've made it this far. Perhaps you can still see the truth. What truth? The only truth there is, is the one you live through. Everything else, every book you've read, every tale you hear, words. They're just different degrees of lying over what somebody else has lived through. Just more or less layers. Just more or less masks on top of masks. Twisting the truth. Nenra is good at that. Why you? This is Umbra speaking? Hmm. I could tell you want to accuse Nara of something again. Let's hear it. No. My words aren't going to cut it. I'm not adding more masks. The truth is getting crushed under the weight as it is. The legend of Umbra has been told and retold too many times. No, champion. If you really want to know what happened, you're going to have to relive it. Hmm. Relive it? This is the Soul Cairn. All of Umbra's memories are buried here by Nanra. It is from here that they returned to the sword when you replaced Clavicus's god flesh. Dig them out if you truly care. Or do not. She awaits for you in her throne. But whatever you do, know this. More than mere gods are watching. Hmm. So we can actually go through the memories if we want. Let's cut to the chase. You're a keeper and there's your barrier. Usual rules. I take it there's no way to presage you. You won't change your mind. You know the truth. 
I will I never back away from a challenge. I guess if we choose to fight, I'm still want to go through the memories though. Like I hope I didn't mess that up because I do want to go through the memories. God, he's strong. Oh God. Uh oh. That was weird. Oh God. I think I randomly teleported. That was a little weird, but all right. So that's a little busted, so we're probably not gonna be able to use that. Him being a ghost makes it a little harder. healing in here. Puny weekly. Not a chance. I guess he's not he's not ether we can't fight him. Or if he's ether I can't hit him. Not so fast. I'll skin you alive. we fill the other ones? No. Okay. Sorry, old friend. Although... Uh-oh. Okay. What the hell? Oh, Lord. You know what? I think we need to reload. This is a lot going on right now. I don't think that's what's supposed to happen. All right, so we're here, back at our old save. It's weird because we keep on getting like attacked from, um, from like all these ghosts and stuff. Yeah, 
you don't have any stamina. I mean, are we gonna fight? Oh God. We are not getting anywhere with these. Could I turn in all this? Damn, okay. I feel like they're just gonna keep summoning stuff because we killed the orc. Hmm. Oh. Or oh, I guess these are the memories. Oh god, that is a level 99 memory. Alright, I guess is what we're doing. Gods, another night. I'm staying out of this. I, I don't know if we're supposed to be fighting this thing or not. That is level 99. I'm not getting close to that. My fireball is going right through it. I think we're doing damage. Oh god, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you were just trying to protect me. My mother, my mother and my two brothers. I almost killed Arena too. And so many guards. What you have done is in the past, El Hul. Life is what you make of it from the present and forward. Nothing else exists. Doably so for you. How can I go on? How can I carry on living after what I did? Could I kill myself? No, never. Why should you feel remorse over things you never did? Someone else did them. You just happened to wear his flesh body, but you are not him. <laughs> then who? Who killed the Mumbra? It was I who wielded you! Poor Abu. Your powerlessness and rage were boiling within you. They wielded me. But you are not your rage. You are not your anger. I have put me in the faces of all the people I murdered. They stare at me. Oh gods, what have I done? The fire that consumed them was yours, yes. But it was I who lit the kindling. It doesn't matter if I meant to. Please, let me carry your guilt as well. It's not the first time, and you're not the first one. I am strong by now, from many before you. Very strong. <laughs> Rest your mind, El Hul. With me, rest. Unburden your soul. Their blood is on my hands. 
as is everyone's always. Beloved. Oh, okay. That was disturbing. Did any of that feel familiar? All of it. It's so hard to explain. These memories, they feel so foreign, but at the same time, mine. This is hard to go through. Please, get us through this. It's awful. Hmm. So from that first memory, I, we kind of see, like, it. she wasn't as blood crazy as people are making it out to be, is from what I can tell. That, um, she was willing to take the responsibility and the blame. Sorry, I thought I heard someone trying to teleport behind me. She was willing to take the responsibility and the blame from, uh, for Inthul, which I guess is one of the first wilders that we know about. I mean, clearly she's had other wilders before her. Um, but that was one of the first ones that we've known about since we've begun the quest line, so... I guess this is kind of like some of the memories that she's asked us to go through. So, I guess, let's see. Um, let's see who's next. Uh, Olvis? Oh, yeah, we tried to fight this guy earlier. Yeah. See if I can actually fight this time. his body. I assume we're probably going to get another memory here. Ebony Staff of the Wall Flames, Ebony Sword of Fire, the Umbra Killer. Can you hear me? Can you speak? I... I can. Where are we? What is this place? This is my Adrenoch form. It worked. I have remade you by the gods I won. I remade Umbra. Remade? Umbra? Who is... Who am I? You are a sentient sword. A Nadric artifact created from the Prince of Margans. The immortal. Powerful, fearsome, but now innocent. <laughs> I don't understand. Innocent? Of what? I don't... Who are you? Who am I? Why? I'm only Sinoth. I will now teach you right from I will raise you, I will turn you into an instrument of justice. To spit in the face of all the gods who devised you as our doom. But I... I don't want to spit on anyone's face. I don't know what you mean by it. Justice. I don't know who I am. You, you are right. I guess we don't know who you are yet. I guess it will be up to you, after all, to figure that out. But I will help you. For now, I just know what you are not. 
who I am not? You are not Umbra. I guess I'll call you Dalbra. Did he die from here? Yes. I'm hungry. Hmm. Poor Ulvis. He meant well. He did the best he could. For a time, yeah. I know. I wish it had not been so. The way forward is through. All right, so that's two out of the five. Um, yes, yes, I see we have company. Thanks. I think we've got a few more to go. Um, I mean, Time to die. a bunch of random souls. I'll try and make this quick. Is someone there? You're not lying. Hmm. All right. Ray Harvest. At last. Oh, this reminds me of the Dark Watch or the uh, Gray Quarter, I mean. Huh. Yeah, this is definitely familiar of the Great Quarter. Obviously, the doors are locked and stuff, but. What was that? What's this? The Umbra House of Uncertainties. No. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well. God, this is so creepy. Alright. I mean, justification basement. Hello again, old friend. Your righteous paladin, you. <laughs> Listen, what happened about Windhelm? I'm no paladin, but you're no revolutionary either. Well. You stopped me prematurely, temporarily. Look, I did what I had to. You're about to murder half the city. You have good intentions, but violence is not the way. Unlike what you're doing in this city, clearly. Remarkable. That is indeed the same conclusion that I reached. That is indeed why I did what I did. There is no moral high ground to be had. There is only the need for action, and the actions justify themselves. So what do you want? You know what I want. Justice. For the oppressed to rise up and take what is owed. Umbra will see to it. She is not afraid of doing what's right. After everything you've done, can you say the same? See? Hmm. Deadly and Prowl Cave. I guess we're going through here.
careful there. Watch your step, yes? Oh, this guy again. All right. What happened to me? No. What happened to you? Why is there a ghost is here? Is there any line you wouldn't cross for Dambra now? Clearly you can kill for her. Clearly you can betray your friends for her. What else? What about you? You see him spent your time killing the same souls over and over. It's what they deserve. Don't worry. Umbra doesn't mind. And Azura understands. You've done worse for Dalmra, haven't you? Hmm. Ah. Oh. By Azura, could it be you? You of all people, you think you're special. Not really. <laughs> You think she wouldn't have fallen for the first random dolt who showed her a modicum of kindness inside the sightless pit? Hmm. You're a cradle robber, you know that? She had her memories wiped out. She was essentially a child. Damn. She trusted you to teach her right from wrong. She was like fresh clay in your hands, and you molded her into what? A body thief. A self-righteous murderer, emotionally stunted and hopelessly dependent on your approval. You're not her partner. You're not her lover. You're just another bad parent. Hmm. <laughs> yes, go ahead now. This is how you spend your time. Killing your same friends over and over. Hmm. Oh, okay, so she's immune to cold flames. Not wrong. What is this? I'm gonna pop a save here real quick. 